Hello and welcome to a new series focused on giving you the best advice about GTA Online. I am GTA and I'll be your host for this episode created in collaboration with GTA series videos. This series will be completely separated from the hot topic that you've come to love. Gary7MT will still be guiding you through the most fascinating arguments and myths around the Rockstar Games title. The next episode of Hot Topic will be coming very soon and will be focused on the beta and remove content of the mobile titles of the GTA series, which are Liberty City Stories, Vice City Stories, GTA Chinatown Wars and GTA Advance. So without further ado, let's dive straight into the latest news and help you make the most out of this special weekend, which aims to give players a glimpse of what's to come in the upcoming new DLC, Finance and Felony, coming this Tuesday on PS4, Xbox One and PC. Rockstar has announced that the Criminal Expansion Weekend will be happening this weekend and it will host a variety of executive and other criminal DLC discounts and bonuses. Like always, you can find an official playlist in the menu, and this time it is called Adversary Mode 7. In this playlist, you can find the following three Adversary Modes. Extraction 3, Inspirings 4, and in and out 2. Unfortunately, the playlist only offers a double RP bonus, and there will be no money bonus involved within the playlist. But don't worry, thanks to the VIP missions and challenges and a couple of interesting discounts, you can get your hands on a big pile of GTA cash and some luxury goodies throughout the weekend. Discounts include 25% off all the variants of the Shafter, the Cognizanti and the Verrier. If you don't own any of these vehicles yet and you're looking for your best option, then your best bet is to get the Shafter V12 armored, because this version is the best sedan within the game, and if you're looking to get the advantage during races, this is definitely the car you want to go for. Alongside of that, there will also be 50% off the Heavy Revolver and Switchblade, and also the Super Folito versions. Before you go out and purchase yourself a Super Felito, I do want to advise you to purchase the Orion Yacht. This weekend it's 50% off, making it only 3 million dollars. Now by spending only a 1.5 million extra, thanks to the 25% discount on all the modifications for the yachts, you'll be able to transfer your Orion to your Aquarius, which is the biggest and most expensive yacht available within the game. This means by spending only 4.5 million, you'll be able to own the richest yacht within the game, which is normally 10 million dollars. On the shot you can find the following vehicles, a Super Felito Carbon, a Lampadetti Toro, a Dinghy and four Sea Sharks. Alongside of that there is also 50% off the turreted limo. This beast of a vehicle packs a nasty punch with the 50 caliber machine gun mounted on the roof and there is also 5 seats available for your entire organization. But if that's not enough for you, this vehicle is also able to take a few RPG shots while you're driving away from those pesky little enemies that are trying to kill you. Now with all these great discounts and a DLC coming up on this Tuesday, you're gonna definitely need some money. Luckily for you, Rockstar was kind enough to remove the threshold for the VIP missions, and that means that if you do own a yacht, one of the best things you can do is to fire up a piracy prevention. Within 10 minutes you'll be able to earn $30,000, and if you start this mission with only one friend in a private session, and let him do some challenges on his own, you can just relax, eat your nice and comfortable hot up, unless your friend is obviously someone that likes to crash titans into you, and you're not really gonna have a good time. Or if you don't want to deal with anyone like that, you can also go in as a lone wolf and go into a session and hope for the best that no one attacks you. Typically in free roam sessions people don't necessarily bother too much with piracy prevention, so you should be all good. If they do decide to be a bit of a dick and come close, then make sure to have your RPGs and sniper rifles at the ready, because most of the time they do spawn quite far away. Another great mission is Sightseer. Sightseer is perfect if you are someone that plays solo. You can easily start this from an invite only session and all you need to do is collect 3 packages and within a few minutes you'll be able to earn 22 to 25,000 GTA dollars. Now do note, the longer you take, the more money you will get. If you for example finish this in 4 minutes, here there's a good chance you will only be getting 22,000 dollars and for 5 minutes let's say 23,000. And then last but certainly not least, I do want to advise you to play Executive Search. Executive Search rewards you with $25,000 in only 10 minutes. However, the goal of Executive Search is to stay hidden from your enemies for 10 minutes straight. The best way to go about this is to find a comfortable position where you will not be able to easily get spotted and have your bodyguard stay as far away as possible so they don't reveal your location. 
Now obviously every mission has a cooldown, but if you play them in the order that we mentioned in here, then you definitely don't have to wait around for too long. A maximum of about 5 minutes is definitely something that you will be looking into. In those 5 minutes you can either decide to wait around for a little bit, or you can also start up a mission from Martin called Trash Talk. In this way you can earn yourself some cash while you're waiting for the next VIP mission to be available, and it's definitely a fun way to wait instead of just simply roaming around a free roam. And that leads us to the end of the episode. We hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching from me, GTA Man, and the GTA Series Videos crew, and we hope to see you next time.